Okay, uh, what we're doing is we're actually going to shoot a video about lighting today. And when it comes to lighting, there is no better tool than to get a light meter. This was $35. I think it was one of the definitely, I think out of all the investments besides the pH and PPM meter, I would say that this comes into a third, a close third, because, uh, you know, it, it's it's been invaluable as far as detecting how much you know, light the plants are getting. So what we want to do is we want to talk about the light meter today. We want to, you know, talk about the differences between uh, different light intensities. And this is going to measure everything. So it's $35 well spent. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at this light meter and talk about its operation for a little bit. So what we have here is we have this dial. Um, it basically has an offsetting. It has a uh, sensitivity setting. So this would be for sun and high intensity lighting and this would be the 500 setting would be for fluorescence it even says there uh, see it says fluorescent it measures in foot candles so it says that there's fluorescence in the 500 setting and uh, then when you go to the 5000 setting you can see there uh, that's for sun and high intensity discharge lighting so we have fluorescence and then we have sun and high intensity lighting so let's move it to 500 okay so we do have my ghetto setup of the you know of the CFLs right here. Okay, and and just for reference, this is how big they are. Okay, these are actually uh, Chinese food takeout um, containers, like uh, what you'd see if you if you maybe that might look familiar to you. You know, kind of like a Chinese food, and then you get that lid at the top that kind of covers it, and it's folded in this thing here. That's what that's what these are. These were just purchased like that, and um, I tried the white, I tried the silver in the inside. It didn't make a difference. The silver was more effective than the white color. Um, and plus it's also made to withstand light heat, so that's why I used it. Now what we have here is we're going to have the light meter here, and we're going to have it, uh, see it goes off the scale. Like it's pretty much, see it goes off the scale, so. Here's the light meter outside, see, and the closer you bring it over. But see, we're on we're on the 500 setting, so we have to put it to the high intensity setting, to the 5000 setting, and then you're going to see the needle now. Okay, as soon as we start to get near the hood, oh, it's going up. Here's the top of the hood. It's going up. It's going up. That's where that's very acceptable. Okay, if you're getting halfway, it's very acceptable, and we can move it around here. You see, all throughout the canopy of the plant. We can move it here up to the top, it gets there. But the point was, was that I can bring it all the way to the end of the hood and it's still halfway. If I bring it outside the hood, boom, it goes down. Um, so it, it's like that down here too. Down here, you know, it goes halfway. As soon as you bring it outside, boom, it goes down. Um, just to show you how far I am from the bulb, okay, we're, we're, we're fairly far away from the bulb. See, we're, we're over here and the bulb is way over there. Now, if we were to go under the bulb directly, you see? But either way, as long as it's under the hood, you're getting good minimal strength. That's for sure. If you go down further, you'll see then it wears down. Okay? So you want um, you want this to be you want the plants, look at that one, that's nice and tall, almost right up there. Um, the plants are not ideal right now because I've been too busy with other things around the house. So they are not ideal right now. This should be up here, you know, that sort of thing. But I've just been too busy with other things. Um, but they're coming along, okay? So these are the skunk number ones from Nirvana. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take you over. Now that you have this reference, we're going to bring you to other sources. We're going to bring you to other places in the house where you can start to see how the sun strength is or how the lighting strength is. So let's, let's go do that now. Okay, so we're under a light. We're under a pretty big light in the bathroom. And while it gets the same intensity, you have to understand it's literally an inch away. But as soon as I move it elsewhere, as soon as I move it elsewhere, Okay, it loses all its intensity. See? Even if I'm right behind it a little bit, even if I'm right behind the light, I'm right level to it, it still loses its intensity. And you bring it down a little bit, it loses its intensity once again. So it literally has to be almost directly around the light. Like that. Okay? So you, there is, you definitely don't get the same amount of coverage. Okay, and uh, here we have a bit of overcast. I'm right by a window. Uh, it's a pretty fairly big window. Um, there is a bit of overcast and you can see 
that the high intensity lighting, uh, you know, the daylight setting in the sun is fairly low. Okay, it's fairly low. So that was near the bottom of the CFL. Uh, it is overcast right now, um, but you know, it, it's it's fairly low. Okay, so that's another you know myth out there. The cloudy days outside don't necessarily produce this. Okay, so here's what we've been waiting for all these years after all the speculation and talk. I have a fluorescent right here that's lit. It's a lit fluorescent right there. And about, oh, I'd say, I don't know, maybe four inches away, we have the light meter. And you can see it's doing absolutely nothing. So we're going to take the, we're going to take the, we're going to take the light meter. I'm going to bring closer the fluorescent. Okay, now it's, it's literally a few inches away. We're going to bring it closer very weak light and we're going to take it, we're going to push, okay it's touching it it is literally, it is touching the fluorescent I can't move it any closer and that's that's the maximum that you're going to get you're going to get, that. that's your maximum right there so it, it scores like, if so <laughs> and as soon as you move it a little bit further away that's it see, it almost moves to nothing Okay, my finger is like, <laughs> I mean, see, you're not getting any light out of fluorescence. Never use fluorescence. That's what I say. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually take out our, uh, we're going to actually take out our HPS lighting. Okay, and so it's, there it is there. Okay. Okay, we just turned it on. It's heating up right now. Okay. Now you can hear the buzzing. And it wasn't that bad before, I could swear. Hopefully it'll kind of warm up and go away. I really dislike that buzzing. <laughs> the light's heating up, so we've got to give it a few minutes to heat up uh, to get warm. I've tried to... I've tried to push the shield down more. I've tried. I've tried various tricks, I'd say, and it doesn't make a difference, to be honest. Um, I've tried to do a custom shield around this. I've tried to basically put, you know, longer things here, and it just it really didn't make a difference, to be honest, as far as the plants were concerned. So, um, I guess it's not fully lit up, but I, I'm. Let's take the light in there now edge of the hood bring it down 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 we're still aligned with the edge of the hood and we're bringing it down 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 we are about two feet from the edge of the hood down okay down down okay I would say okay this is we're uh, one two two and a half feet I'd say from the top of the hood so it's gonna be about you know, a foot from the plants. That's what we're going to do. If you go directly under the bulb, now it's off the chart. It's boom. It's like direct sunlight. It's off the chart. Okay, so let's try and see if we can. Okay. There we have it. There we have it. So what I'm trying to show is that the 400 watt, what I'm trying to show is that the 400 watt handles right up against the wall here. What I'm trying to show is that the 400 watt handles basically uh, two and a half by two and a half, okay? 400 watt. We're not going to keep that up there, of course. We're definitely not going to do that. We're going to lower it down near the ground. That's what we're going to do. And there's going to be white sh sheets, of course, as everybody knows. I tried to cover, see this back light, le uh, light <laughs> leak over there? I tried to cover that up to see if it, make it made a difference, and it really didn't make any difference as far as the overall light output. What we're going to do is we're going to put our tallest plants near the outside over there, right up against the wall. You see, still goes to halfway. I'll have to show you more after it's finished. But it was nice to start this guy up again, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, take it from there. Put in, put these plants in a flowering. Actually, you know what? I got these up here, and they're just not making a difference. They're just not like I'm putting it almost right up to it. You see, it doesn't do anything. Um, and these are like 42 watts also, like they're just, and they just don't do anything. Compared to upstairs, now if these had, 
I tested these before. If this reset, if I had the same hood with these, then there would be a difference. But with this recess, just normal lighting, it just doesn't work. It doesn't make it. It almost needs to be in that that U shape. So, yeah, there you go. see. After after you turn it off, it it still glows. See, it still glows. It's it's the magic. Actually, I wonder if I can get a good shot. See. There you go.